Hi everyone, today I am cutting the pumpkin apple spice that I made about 34 hours ago. Yeah, I put it in a Ziploc bag. I didn't want to handle it late last night and I made it late the night before. But here is what it looks like right here. And let's move you down and move it down and start the cutting. Okay. Turn it around so I can get it just right. Line it up as best as I can because I know that I'm going to cut through some of these pumpkins. And I got to protect my embeds from my hands, not get them soapy so it don't move on me. Clean it up just a little bit. Line it up right here. There we have it. You know, that one was cut off a little bit, but that's okay. Not too bad. I love how my swirls came out. Move my up a little bit. Wipe down the cutter. There you have. I love how it is turning out. It is perfect. As perfect as I could have gotten it. There you have it. Almost getting ready to be halfway done. Three, four more parts to bring three more things to cut. See, I'm having to take the excess off where I've cut it into the pumpkin and the other embeds. Just remove it off the top there and just clean it up a bit. Getting there. I'm actually not having to remove too much of it. Just a tiny little bit. So basically the design remains. Last little bit. that one and mine but it gets cut in half for two little bar samples cut right through the heart leaf maybe this will be a sample and this will be mine now to clean up some soaps this is the love spell with the no coconut and as you can see, not the same one as before. It is because, you know, I don't want to use the same tool to clean up the coconut soaps that have coconut oil in it as the ones that are coconut oil free. It's what I call them. It's because I made this, originally designed this recipe for a friend who has a son-in-law who is allergic to coconut oil. And I have a niece who is allergic to coconuts, and so I made it so that, you know, it could be allergen-free for people with coconut oil issues. And I'm trying to be very careful around this so I don't get the hearts, because, you know, I've hand-molded those. There you have it. Cleaned up. And the blueberry ones that I made before I made the videos of the no coconut recipe, 
Well, they will be ready sometime, and I will, I've already wrapped up um, the lavender lemongrass and uh, what I call clean and fresh that has brambleberries crisp cotton in it. I've already wrapped those up, and I'm going to be taking photos of them sometime today and posting them on my Etsy. But the blueberry one might sit there a few more days. It will be coming soon, too. I already have a blueberry on there that's with the coconut recipe. And the lavender lemongrass was out, so it I don't have that right there on there right now. So it, the lavender lemongrass is not is the coconut free recipe, and it will be going on there sometime this afternoon. And there's a little sample. Now one of these will be mine that I use the test the soap with, so I only get one sample out of each of these when I have this mold. More likely this will be mine. I pushed my fingers into it accidentally when I was getting it out of the mold. And I do have this a love spell already on there with coconut. And this is the no coconut recipe and this, this one is I made a couple of weeks ago. So it's got four more weeks to cure before it will be ready. And I actually liked how it came out, but I didn't, I wanted more white to the pink and the red that I had in it. I didn't quite make enough white. But I guess now that I look at it afterwards, it's not so bad. All the white just stayed on the bottom, basically. Put a lot of white towards the bottom. I need to order another tiny little heart mold for this one so that I can have smaller hearts inside. But maybe the bigger hearts work too. I've ordered a cooling fan for my computer. My computer's been getting too hot when I've been trying to edit these videos. That needed a new computer. Cheaper version was to get the cooling fan to work with it for now. And then maybe start saving up. I guess I have to have my priorities and orders. More important is the a soap cutter from Bud Hafner's son-in-law or son. I don't know. They have plowboys. I don't, I don't know, Pie Boys is the one Bob Hafner rec recommended when he had his accident. So that's who I'm ordering it from. And I've sent my first payment in. And when my friend Joe sends me the money that he's sending me for the soaps I made for him, then some more of that will go towards that soap gutter. i got to get more lye. Running out of lye. I like to get my lye from Nature's Garden. Because it's the lie beads. I like the lie beads. So, there was that one. If I had a planer, I would try to, try to very lightly plane this area to get that heart to show better. But the planer will come next. They're cheaper than the cutter, but the cutter is more important to me, I guess, than the planer. Because if I had a planer, I would plane off the end pieces too. And of course, this is the last one. There you have it. I'm going to weigh out my blueberry soap because I'm wrapping it today. I'm not going to be putting these on Etsy just yet um, because I still have to get the labels. And I'm going to weigh them to see how much they are. And I'm going to write them down and put them in order of how much they are. Now this one is 6.10 and so I'm going to organize them into the order. I don't think I actually have been labeling these correctly. I am in North Carolina. I don't know. That's 5.99. I don't know if I'm doing this right. If I'm doing it wrong, please tell me how I can do it correctly. That was 5.89. That one is 5.71. Let's see how much this one is. 5.67. And 5.14. And my little sample is 1.86. So I could use some tips on how to properly label them. And I, may, I have a label created. I shrink wrap them. These here I have in order of the amount they were written down. Now this one here is going to be for my tiny little one. I'm going to cut a hole in my shrink wrap 
for my cold process to breathe. These are the easiest I can have to get. The hole in this case is probably going to be on the bottom. And of course here we go with this. And I'm going to move my little scale away and bring this in too. See if I can get this on there. I'm using the scraps for the samples and listen for it to click. I have to go to the library to get uh, my labels printed. If I get ink for my scanner, I'll do it myself. So we got that one wrapped up. And now that I've written down the weights, I know that when I weigh them again, it'll work out. Now, I'm going to go and put the rest of these in here. My little triangle hole is right there. So I'm going to put my, close, my soap close to that. And I'm going to get all these in the bag. These are the blueberry. It's my lard and hydronate, palm kernel hydronated flakes recipe. I don't use palm oil, just the palm kernel hydronated flake oil. And I should be listening for it to beep. And it didn't yet. I need to look where I can see to get replacement parts for this. Of the, you know, the brown part. The heating element and stuff that goes under. I know I've got an extra wire. But I need an extra Teflon thing. It came with something clear. I'm not sure it's the same thing. Or I lost it. I might have lost it. I reused and I saved these like I did with that little soap. I, I saved these extra pieces. First of all, the six inch ones, like that, can go over top of my lotions. Which I don't know how to mail in the summertime. Maybe in the wintertime I can put them on my Etsy, only in the wintertime. Or the fall where it's not hot anymore. This is not picking at me. This is a impulse sealer. A lot of people have these. They like them. And I like it. That click that time. Maybe it clicked and I didn't hear it. Because I was talking. So I'm trying to put it closer to here than the burn area. There's an area right here that looks like it's burnt. And I've not had this that long. I've had to adjust the temperature a couple of times to make sure it uh, melts right. Sometimes it melts too much and then sometimes it don't. Next, I'll shrink them. I'm getting ready to shrink wrap these. Um, the berry, co no coconut oil, the soaps that I have with the nice pretty designs and even some little sample, 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 tiny samples that I have. But if I have a fair, I could take them to one and I can give these away free to anybody at a fair. I have not signed up for a fair yet. But uh, maybe one day... So let's hit them with the heat gun. I sped up this process instead of letting you hear all the heat gun sound. I'm just letting it go very, very, very fast. And I'm just shrink wrapping these soaps and pushing in the corner so there's no sharp edges. Put that down there. Cool. So this is what the blueberry scented no coconut soap recipe that has lard and palm kernel hydrogenated flakes in it I might be saying that a little backwards sometimes I repeat things backwards by accident I think I'm slightly dyslexic that way but anyway so here you go it's going on Etsy in three to four days when I can get the labels printed I've got to babysit this afternoon so I'm going to be busy and I might not get this video up until Tuesday which is tomorrow instead of um, today, which is Monday, and uh, actually, I have a doctor appointment tomorrow, so busy tomorrow, and then Wednesday, helping wash my niece, Ella, great niece, actually, and that's why I'm babysitting my great nephew today, so I'm gonna say bye now.